So, but I think they might be even in set count, but at least not this season. Yeah, Elgin is just an absolutely horrifying player to go up against, especially uh, his timing at, on your stand with like a down B cyclone or something like that. And you, you just die off the side so early, like not expecting him to be able to time it perfectly like that. Or he could just get the off smash, like either way he times that. It's such an alpha play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see how we can do on this game one, going right back to Smashville. It's interesting, like in MDVA's region, we start every game on PS2. It seems like you guys start a lot of games on Smash Ball here. Honestly, like, I've actually seen a lot of people start on PS2, but oh, okay. this is this is actually interesting for me too. Yeah, we do also do call uh, PS2 Starterville, so. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, oh, okay. I actually been seeing a lot of stages, a lot of uh, starts on Smash Ball. Maybe people just, you know, reminiscent of the old days. Exactly. But yeah, Elegant starting this game off kind of crisp. Got that clean combo for a nice, like, 40%. And now rack them up to 74, but trapped on the left side right now. Oh, I like that up B. Fireballs are so they're so good. They basically lock you in shield, but just upping out of it. Right. Ooh, and that bomb right there would have been nice for him, but good on Elegant to just knock him out of it. Ooh. Yeah, like we said, once Game Watch gets that down smash, that is really that his kill condition. Right, he trapped him in the ground and then immediately can just get that board smash, doing full knockback on like a uh, smash board. Mm -hmm. So crazy that they made that an addition in this game. Right, grounding is so good in this game. It's so ridiculous. So many characters have it. Exactly. I, I, I just want to know like why they thought that was the idea. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't kill you. So high up there too. Yeah. Might have. It might have been like the percentage where it wouldn't kill, like a percent or two more. Might have. But right. catching that back here, only 50% on Elegant. We all know he can just turn around like that. Absolutely, yeah. And Elegant is a player who's not going to let him get away with that. We saw Kiko Man allowing those up Bs to just fly around. But Elegant, he'll come right up there and punch you super hard for it. Yeah, he'll, he'll box you. Right. Oh, trying to land directly in front of Elegant. He almost got the jabs to start up his combo. But good on uh, Paper to get away. Oh, I like the jump up uh, Cyclone to get back to stage. Now these Warriors coming through, I'm trying to trap him here a little bit so he can start one of those clean combos we see from Elegant so often. Right now, uh, I like that Paper just kind of running away from Elegant, trying to elicit these reactions and get some damage when you don't really want to fight Luigi at his prime. And as I say, that an unsafe dash attack is going to get him hit. Ooh, and look at the horrible uh, disadvantage state he's in now, too. Trapped at the ledge. He oh, can't he come in aggressive like that every time. Yeah, oh, Elegant's wow, still not going to kill. That's another thing that we saw Kiko Man kind of dropping a few times that Elegant is punching him hard for. You cannot come on aggressive with those bears. Uh, he will punish you. Oh! Back throw. Yeah, that's going to take it. Oh, he tossed him out of there. And a little bit of dash dancing in the neutral just to show that he feels Oh, my good. gosh. He definitely, he almost he almost got shut down. Yeah, three rolls in a row, man. You got to be careful with that. All right, good up B. But again, Elegant going to knock that bomb out of the way. Oh. Down smash. Wow, I said that's such a horrid angle. I don't even think he could have came back without a misfire. Right, and that was smart because he probably wasn't sure where Elegant was going to go, but Duke using the down smash, can hit both sides and cover that man. Cover so much space. And now Elegant is looking like he's trying to, he's not really trying to run in at Game Watch again. That's when you take damage, but yeah. he's just trying to throw out these airs, these fireballs to really throw things back at Paper. Right, and I do, yeah, these upbees are really smart from Paper. As soon as Elegant gets a down throw or something like that, he knows there's not really anything true he can do out of it. So he's just upbee, escape. Even if he trades for something, that'd be better than one of Elegant's good combos, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great down tilt at the ledge. Has oh, a wow. trapped here, two frame in this void. Oh, this is looking free right now. But Woo! gonna finally up he past him, but he's already at 90%. He took so much damage just from that little kick. And he's still trapped. He cannot get the ledge. Elegant has the timing to get. Okay, oh. try to time him with the Cyclone on stand, like I was saying earlier. Yeah, but going a little too fast. Down throw Cyclone, gonna hit. That scoops you in so much. He's so far away when it happens, but... Uh, the, close, the close line hits. Yeah, that was excellent. You saw Elegant do all those two frames in a row just to condition him to try to recover in a different way. As soon as he landed on the stage, got him with the up smash. Immediately. Popped him up. Yeah. He's like, oh, you're going to adapt? Okay, that's fine. I already had the punish waiting for you. And he literally just got that damage so down throw up B or down throw down B would kill. Exactly. Like, rack that man up on an edge guard for so much. Well, paper down 1 0. I think he's going back to Smash Bros. Paper really liking that stage uh, as we've seen. Oh, going high. Interesting. I did not know that Elegant actually played anybody other than Luigi. Yeah, recently he's been trying to play a lot of characters. He, I'm pretty sure he like doesn't think that Luigi is solo viable. I know he has a Mario. Earlier he played uh, he played Diddy Kong. So I think he's just trying to experiment with other characters oh, yeah, to see I who he likes. Oh yeah, Diddy, right? I think right. an interesting choice. I'm really curious for why that against Game Watch. I do suppose a Nair up air will kill really early. Not only that, but yeah, we were saying earlier, like with Lucina, he has that disjointed sword, man. He's going to be able to get so much. But oh, great uh, pacing on those jabs. Make sure he got as many hits as physically possible on Elegant. Oh, dash pack. No punch for it, though. 
That's definitely one of those uh, long in lag moves. Surprised he didn't go for anything. But as we say, this paper is getting a lot of uh, juggling going on. That's a problem that Ike has. He does have a hard time getting out of disadvantage against a lot of characters. Ice. Down smash sent up. Yeah, that move really does it all. Yeah, you hit him with the top of that and actually took that stock in less than a minute, man. Only 8% on this boy. Yeah, from the way it's looking, I'm, I'm predicting Luigi's coming back. Yeah, and I definitely agree with that. Gets, a, gets an 8, but, I you know. I think it was a 9%. He's been trying. He's really been, he's been trying to impress you. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like, throw it out in bad spots, though. Sometimes you see a Game Watch is efficient for that thing, but he goes for it very rarely. Mm -hmm. But at the right times. And again, look at Elegant's already racked up to 111 with that force match, having something to say here. Getting a decent amount of damage, not really sending him anywhere. Oh. I think Avi's messing with the, uh, <laughs> the overlay. Oh, good. Yeah, a good counter right there, too. Gonna knock him off the right side and almost catch him with that fair, too. Oh, wait, that stage? The reversal. He keeps getting those. You have to be careful edge guarding Game & Watch, man. His up is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's why a lot of people tend to just let Game & Watch back for free. Oh, that down tilt actually scooped him up from the below the ledge. Right, yeah, Luigi. I mean, uh, Elegant does have that timing on that with his Luigi, so tried to do the same thing with his, uh, Ike. And the follow-up, yes, this time it will connect. If Nair forward, they're going to take it, but... He still has two whole stocks to take before he's able to try to bring this one back. All right, and already getting scooped up in a quick combo, but reversing it on him. Got a couple of aerial hits himself. Now chasing good dash attack. I clank out those projectiles, too. I actually love that dash attack, because the animation of Ike's uh, dash attack, he actually went under a lot of the sausages and oh, clanked okay, with the yeah. other ones. Yeah, he does kind of like duck down a little bit. I don't know if he realized that, but that was so clean. All right, now trying to, oh, almost had to grab. I saw him kind of waiting in the air, like, how are you going to land Game Watch? Because I will punish that, and he just barely missed his grab for it. Yeah, dash grabs have like a little bit less range, so a lot of the times you see these players who think who like know the spacing, but will just miss because of like the different mechanics. Right. Uh, great landing right there. Yeah, seeing so many of uh, game or everything that Paper's going for, he kind of just sits back on the ground and then throws out a couple of smash attacks. But if you pace that out, you can just jump aerial in. Great punish. Yeah, now I do think uh, Game Watch will die to like a nair uh, up air, but he's gonna need to land it right now. Hot dodge, up smash. Paper again with a with another one of these two stocks. I think every game he's won so far, he's gotten with a two stock. Right. They're not her making statements. And getting another one of those edge guard kills once again. Like he gets that really, really easily. Yeah, I definitely don't even blame Elegant for that one because when he got hit by that up B, I thought he was just gonna go on stage. I was not ready for that him to hit the stage. Exactly. All right, so we're gonna go back to Luigi, yes, and Paper of course gonna stick with his game and watch. Yeah, definitely interesting. Uh, I always think it is, yeah, really interesting when people win a game and then switch characters. But it makes sense. Sometimes you're just not comfortable in the matchup. You just feel like things could have went better if you had a different character, had a sword or something like that. Yeah, sometimes you just want to try out a different matchup. Exactly. But yeah, unfortunately it didn't work for him. He's going to go back to his main and get this quick combo started up. Already. Look at these battlefield oh! combos. Already at 88%. This is a complete turnaround from the last game. Yeah, this triplat layout is so good for a lot of combo characters. They're able to extend it. I didn't think Luigi was going to be able to, but it you know, really, uh, really made me eat my words on that one. Yeah, this is an elegant dance, man. He's going to get those quick combos with a oh, nice one. cyclone. Oh, he died of that cyclone. I think that might have been bad DI. Either way, man, under 30 seconds, elegant taking that. Yeah, he, he looked like this Luigi should have came out in game two, but you know, mm -hmm. live and learn. Yeah, sometimes, like we said, sometimes you just want to try a different matchup or something like that. Just don't feel comfortable. Just mix it up. Oh, great Cyclone. He's doing the same thing that Paper was doing to him earlier, up being out of his combos. He's going to down B out of that one. Yeah, using the, the iframes of the Cyclone and the up B to just get out of a situation that you really don't want to be in. Right. Oh, so the down, down tilts. Again. And again, we see him. Oh, you're going to try to mix up how you're recovering? Another punish. But landing with that back air, it's so good because there's that, that back air with the multi-hit and then the landing hitbox. Oh, I like the runoff there, but good tech from Oh, yeah, I was going to say he actually teched it this time, too. He was ready. Oh, <laughs> that plunger actually hunting out. Oh my him, gosh, like jab, jab, spike. runoff, down air. Yikes. Elegant's making a statement. He's looking like he's ready to move on. Ooh, but attacking a little bit too early on those tangibility frames. I'm trapped off the left side right now. I need to be careful getting on stage. Good roll. Ooh, I like the, the run back for the whip punishment. Casey threw out something. No way. <laughs> okay, wow. Oh, so oh my gosh. If I'm paper, my eyes definitely just flat. My whole life flat for my eyes. Right. Like, is this oh. where it ends? Okay, but he's going to down smash that man off the right side. So things trying to work his way back into making this even. Yeah, game down the stock. Game Watch is going to need to do like a couple specific things he wants to bring this back. One of them is, like you said, that judgment. Yeah, dude, I, I need to see it. If he wants to stay in this. Oh, Down what? throw up B? What? And the aerial hitbox doing. Wait, what? Killing look, how, look how serious Elegant is. 
like I have a direct view of him. As soon as he hit that up, he just put out the the oh, quick fist bump. That's the worst feeling because you're like, no, I, I might survive. Don't give me the fist bump yet. Oh like, my god, you're not gonna survive. That's such that cocky move. As soon as you hit it, you're like, I know who I am. I know what my character can do. Good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you gotta have that knowledge, and that confidence. Elegant certainly does. He he's definitely one of those players that is like here for the game, here to play, not here to like mess around. Let's finish the game and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. So now he's gonna be uh, winning and losing semis for the winner of Leaf FC and Sheena, and I think they're playing 